my god. Stop. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome back to the cafe. It's time to sit back, relax, and enjoy an indie game. We are playing the wonderful Lodal Knot thanks to the demos made available during the Wholesome Games uh, Wholesome Snack event. Uh, full disclosure, I am part of the Wholesome Games team. I am one of the organizers as well as one of the co-hosts of the showcase, but uh, I'm just I'm really excited about this game. The reason I'm part of Wholesome Games is because I love this kind of game in particular, and um, I'm just really stoked to jump in. So let's hop into Lodal Knot's demo and see what they have in store. Uh, really quick thanks to Moon Lagoon, the developers, and Secret Mode, the publisher, for making this available for us to try. Uh, it says right here, Gamepad Recommended, so we're going to just go ahead and do that, and, um, and we're going to get going. Okay. Oh. Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Hello, I'm Dave. I'll be your supervisor during your time on GUP 14. Gup. Like guppy 14. I'm a little guppy in the ocean. Your first task is to clean up the pollution in your landing zone. There's a lot of it, so you better get to work. Okay, so it looks like we can move around. Oh, I'm so cute. I can go up and I can go oh down. Okay, and then uh, I can also bring up a menu. Oh, I see trash. RT to collect. Oh, that's nice and easy. If you have trouble locating nearby pollutants, be sure to use your helmet's scanner function. How? How do I scan? Is it one of the triggers? Oh, whoop. Nope, don't don't mean to do that. Excuse me, come back. Um, okay, so that's that's not the scanner. Maybe maybe it's not implemented quite yet. Uh, all right, so simple first mission: collect the trash. <laughs> so far, so good. I feel like I'm being very successful. The music is so relaxing too. I really love how just chill it is. And I think this whole game, if I'm remembering correctly, is about just cleaning up the ocean and, and making sure it's a, made into a space that creatures can enjoy. Uh, I love that it's set in um, sort of this like alien planet, so things may not be may not look like the way we expect them to. I think there's some room for fantasy to be had. Um, okay, let's pick these two up. Oh, oh, I see. Okay, we've got like a little recycling center here so we can deposit all of them. Okay. Ah, oh, cute. Okay, left trigger is deposit item. So this has bottle on it. So I'll just deposit those. Oh, cute. Yum, 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 yum. I'm a little trash can. <laughs> ah, you've learned how to use the recycle bots. Your litter collection, oh, is indicated by the meter progress. Oh, I see. Okay, so we want to really fill this sucker up. You will feast, my little robo friends. You will feast. I will collect all the trash for you. Ooh, we only have one more. Oh, right before my eyes. I just had to turn around. There we go. Achievement unlocked. <clears throat> Congratulations, you've proven yourself capable of performing basic litter collection. You are now authorized to leave the landing zone. Please proceed to Ripple Reef for your next task. Okay, well, this looks like the right direction. Oh, hello, what's this? Upgrades! Ooh, okay, so once we start collecting stuff, it looks like we might be able to unlock upgrades. Which we have no currency. I love how they look like the little like little stars. Um, I think of like Katamari or the little paper stars that you can fold up. Oh, that's cute. 
PlayStation graphics are wonderful too. You've just left an oxygen. Oh, excuse me. It's me getting oxygen to the brain. Um, you've just left an oxygenated zone. Okay, be sure to periodically refill your oxygen tank at the recharge ring. Okay, so is this the recharge ring? Oh, and it went from like 70 something to 80. Okay. Ooh, what is this? That doesn't look good. Oh, but here's some trash. Boop, 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 boop. I'm gonna pick up the trash. Everybody, watch out! Burn it now. All right, and the oxygen seems to not be going down too fast, but this is the big ocean, so I'm hoping we can get get an upgrade going pretty soon. Oh, whoops! I keep accidentally <laughs> pulling out my trash. All right, there we go. Whoa. What's this stuff? It looks like there's stuff all over the plants. I wonder if I can clean that up too? This area is known as Ripple Reef. Pollution levels on the planet have made it uninhabitable. Hmm. Can I pick? Oh! Oh, I can make it go away! Your job is to clean up all the contaminants in the area. I'll be here monitoring your progress as you work. Zap goop. This is toxic waste material that we refer to as goop. Use the laser on your bubble gun <laughs> to neutralize it quickly. Cool. That's satisfying. Okay, let's turn around. Boop, 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 boop. Oh yeah, that's good. Last bit. Oh! That's nice. Great work. Fully cleaned plants have increased resistance to the goop's spread, so make sure you're thorough. Okay, so it will spread. So I need to, like, actually finish the job. I like that I can just hold it down, and the, the laser will kind of aim for me. It doesn't, as long as I'm sort of trained in the right area and honing in on the right spot. Oh, that's nice. Oh, we're at 35 oxygen. Oh my god. <laughs> I need I need to go get some fresh air. This this little fishbowl's getting stale. Okay, but actually this is good cuz I that means I can come back here and get these these situated too. Oxygenated, but I want to make sure to also deposit some of the stuff that I found. Okie dokie. Um, I wonder what is this? Where does this go? Can I deposit it? it? Oh, it doesn't want that. I mean, it's not a, it's not a thing. I see you've collected a coral fruit. Please do not attempt to eat it. We don't know what effect it has on humans. What do I do with it? Can I put it in here? Will a coral fruit... Can I... It's not letting me deposit anything. drop it off. I feel like this will eject whatever fun good, good thing I have. Okay, well I'll just keep it in my pocket. Maybe it, maybe it comes into use somewhere else. I think the interesting thing about this game is it definitely plays on folks and the 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 joy that people get from games like Power Wash Simulator or even Unpacking or a little to the left where it's about just making a space look clean. Um, oh, more, more coral fruit. Okay, well, we'll keep collecting it. Uh, making a space looking clean and inviting, helping out the planet. Um, I think, ooh, that was a nice angle. Got a lot. And I like that... Um, I like that this is so relaxing. Like it's 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 giving me power wash <laughs> um, energy where I just really enjoy being in this space, taking care of it. Oh wait, those are oh to be fruit. <laughs> okay, although this is not actually helping my goal of because it's not Ripple Reef. I'm just cleaning things to clean things. Okay, we should we should do our actual task. <laughs> Oh, okie dokie, we have a lot of reef to clean. 
This is going to be a hefty project. But it looks like the coral that we've cleaned so far have stayed pretty good. So at least once we've cleaned an area, it seems to not be too stressful. Like this isn't going to be too much of a battle. I realized I probably should leave some room in my inventory for uh, the garbage that I'm supposed to pick up. There we go, like that. <laughs> Sometimes the angle, like, it's not super touchy, but I do know there seems to be sort of the strategic ways to place yourself to make things go a little bit more smoothly. Um, it's nice having the reticle, like, show up, telling me exactly when things will be able to be scooped up versus not. I'm excited to see what else we get to clean, like, what other coral reefs look like. I imagine, I mean, it's polluted, right? So that's probably why there aren't really any fish or, or any life forms around here. So maybe we'll also get to inhabit um, and like help repopulate some of this area um, by bringing in fish and other species that fit in this biome. Okay. Oh, oh, oh yeah, I, oh, we saw, okay. I just saw a little bit more of the goo pop up. Oh, your suit is- oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm really looking forward to whenever we get to upgrade and we get to build um, either more rings or perhaps- oh, there's a model. Let's pick it up. Uh, we get to upgrade and get more rings or uh, maybe a bigger oxygen pack. I don't know if I should keep collecting the fruities or just maybe deposit them with the like in the space. I don't want to keep just picking fruit if it's if it's not going to be fruitful, you know. <laughs> if there's no purpose. I might as well just leave it. Okay, so we'll put that in there. Put that in there. And you know what? These fruity booties, I'm just going to leave here and we'll just we'll come back for them it looks like they'll just stick around so it's a good good as storage place as any all right we've got to finish up this area now when i was swimming over and i'll go over there in a second so you can see but the coral that i did not finish cleaning did get reclaimed by the goo. So we do need to be aware of uh, making sure things are actually finished out before we leave because these this goo does come back pretty quickly. Um, it was this one right here. See, look at how much that spread. Uh, and this is like, whoop. Let's see, so I want to finish this first, but I think I also just saw a big garbage bag. At least, <laughs> at least it's a big garbage bag. It'll make it easy for me to pick up. Okay, so there's still more because it hasn't changed color. So I want to... Ah, yeah. Ooh, this is a hefty glop. Glop of goop. There we go. Oh, nope, I don't, I don't want that. I do have to say, if the game was just this... Oh, I lasered it and trash popped out. <laughs> That's cute. Uh, if the game was simply this, I would be very content. Um, I'd be interested to see what they do with narrative. Like, are, are they going to bring in a more explicit narrative? Is there a surprise maybe waiting in store as we delve further into the depths and clean more of this land? Or, I guess ocean technically um, but if if they being the devs if they wanted to just make a game that was peacefully cleaning in the ocean I am here for it oh I think I see oh no that's a rock okay I was like I think I see another trash bag good work you've made this area a bit cleaner but you still have a long way to go Oh dear, oh dear, I only have 15 oxygen, 14. We may not make it in time. 
Um, we're gonna have to see. Oh, the music got a little bit more full though since we hit the second tier of clean. Oh god. Oh god, I feel like the oxygen's moving much more quickly. We might find out what happens when you do run out of oxygen in this very adorable, wholesome game. There's the ring! I see it! This is going to be a hair pin finish, is that the saying? I don't know! Oh my gosh! Goal! We made it! Oh, jeez. That was, that was scary. I'm a bit intrigued. Oh! I let that go. Uh, I'm a bit intrigued. I want to know what happens perhaps when, oh, there's a bottle when the oxygen runs out, but also I don't want to know. Because why? Why? What's the purpose? What's the point? Great. Now this biome is just as polluted when you first has found it. Oh, what? Promptly rid the area of all the contaminants. Wait, what? It's not just as polluted. Only fully clean. Well, no, we know it wasn't fully cleaned, but I hadn't even gotten to half of it. My buddy, come on. Good work. Okay, there we go. Alright, so things did... something progressed funky. Oh, what's this? Oh! Little fish! That's Oh, that's just a lodo. It looks like it's covered in goop. Oh, can I laser it? Oh, unfortunately you're not... <laughs> read my mind. You're not allowed... Oh, yeah. You're not allowed to use laser life on what happened to local wildlife last time. Best to just ignore it for now. Well, how do we get you clean, little Lodal? That Lodal looks very unhappy. It might keep following you until you get it clean. Well, how do I clean you? I can't laser you. Hmm. Well, oh, you're getting goop all around. I wonder, can I bring you to the oxygenator? Get you some fresh because bubbles are basically blasts of little bits of air and oxygen maybe you can go through the oxygenator i need to get i need to get oxygen anyway so <gasps> yeah looks like the recharge ring blasted the goop off that little but it's still following you I mean, that's not a bad thing. Look how cute it is. You're adorable. All right, little buddy, you stick with me. We'll make we'll make this ocean clean in no time. Pick an oops. I should have dropped off the trash, but next time. Okie dokie. Hopefully my buddy isn't like, the pollution has come back. You've done no work! <laughs> like, I've been working so hard! That little doesn't seem to like being in polluted waters. Perhaps they could wait somewhere else. Little buddy, I just took you over. Okay, let me pick up this trash and we're gonna take you back. You were just in a lovely space that you could have just hung out in. Alright, my friend, let's go. Oh, hold on, there's a can right there. Oh, I wonder if the Lodal will like to eat the coral fruits. Let's go check it out. Little Lodal, we've got snacks over there. Really oxygenated water. No goop. What's what's not to love? Okay, little buddy, are you gonna stay here? That Lodal seems to have taken residence in your landing zone. I suppose that's fine for now. I'm fine with it. You're not even here. Oh, wait, yes, drop off the trash. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you like glass. You like plastic. And you love aluminum. Also known as aluminum, also known as soda pop cans. Okie dokie. We are 44, we have made it half, nearly halfway. Um, boop, make sure we're just topped up on oxygen. 
I'm curious uh, what will happen when we get to 100%. I'm hoping we will be able to see this biome just filled with life again. That would be really, really nice. But I know also, you know, in real life, it takes time for areas to repopulate. So perhaps, perhaps we won't get to see the full, full deal. Oh, that's nice. It feels real good when you figure out like the perfect spot and then you can just like go up or down and sort of make it smoothly happen. Oh, look at this kelp. I love how bubbly everything is. Like everything's rounded and soft and just pleasant. Look at me in the sea. <laughs> Oh, ooh, yeah, we got a lot to work with back here. Oh, I missed a spot in the bottom. Jaboo! I'm such a cute little, <laughs> I was gonna say astronaut, but technically I guess I am a scuba diver. Whoop. Oh, hey, 66%. Congratulations, Ripple Reef is now adequately clean. I'm sure any native creatures would be happy to live here. Heck yeah. All right, so we can, and we have the quest, bring the Lodal to Ripple Reef. So we'll be able to bring it back home. Now, I, I would like to, well, I guess we're already gonna have to go back anyways, because 35%. So it's like, we should bring it back when it's 100. Really just like show it off. Uh, you know, it's new home in its most beautiful new state. And again, I just want to point out, I love the way the music has continued to grow as the health of the reef increases. Um, just showing the life that's coming back. The potential life that's coming back. Well, no, I guess technically coral, coral is alive. I think I remember um, a documentary talking about that. So really life is coming back. We're actually bringing life into the reef through the coral itself, not simply just the fish. Okay, we gotta go back. 17, that's when it gets, we're in race time. <laughs> I just want some oxygen. Okay, it doesn't look like going up, ascending, or descending uses more or less oxygen. So I also think uh, that's really nice that we don't have to balance like the power usage. It just goes down at a steady rate. Okie dokie, let's... I guess we'll, we'll bring the Lodal back. We'll still, we'll still finish up our work, but it'll be nice for the Lodal to, to be back home again. Lodal, where are you? Oh, there you are. What a cutie pie. Hello. The Lodal is sensing its home is all clean. Hold out item or change item. Hold on. Hold on. Can we hold out a little coral fruit? Oh. <gasps> Do you want this fruit? I'm holding it. Do you want it? Oh, no. Okay. That's interesting. So we can hold and offer items, it looks like. Maybe that'll be later. There'll be some creatures that we can feed to entice back. All right, 76. We've gotten a C, technically. We have passed. But y'all know me, I'm not about that sea life, <laughs> even though I'm in the sea. Uh, we are gonna try and get to 100%, A plus, please. So I I feel like I've done a pretty good job of keeping track of the trash. Um, I think 
this was where we found you, so let's drop you back off in your home. Oh, it looks like the Lodal is now all comfortable living in this area. Better here than near our precious equipment. All right, Lodal, bring back your friends. Give them a call. Let them know the Coral Reef is, has returned. Oh, and look, bubbles. Oh, the, the reef the, itself is putting out bubbles. I remember vaguely, because I kept an aquarium in my classroom back when I was a teacher. Um, I remember vaguely having to learn about aquariums and oxygen and how fish need it. And, oh my gosh, it was so finicky, I have to say. Uh, I, I feel really sorry for all of the fish that did not end up making it um, as I was learning. I really, really tried. I did try my best. Ripple Reef is flourishing. You still have an entire plan. Oh, shucks. I missed it. I'm sure what HQ would like to hear from you. Let me get you the necessary means to contact them. Okay. Oh, what? No. Oh, I wanted to get 100%. We have a lot more in store. Just let me get to 100%. Oh my gosh. It's like, like not hearing the last note of a song. Um, we have a lot more in store for the full game, including new tools and upgrades, lodals to raise, so we will be able to feed them the fruits, and biomes to explore and secrets to discover. We hope you'll join us in the Little Not Discord server where we'll be posting updates as we continue working on the game. In the meantime, be sure to wishlist Lodal Not on Steam. Oh, whew. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I was so worried that we wouldn't be able to finish. Oh, that's the sensor. Okay, I was holding, you have to hold the X button for anyone who's like, wait, what? Uh, it's holding the X button. And that gives you visibility on the, the nodes that you have to clean. That's really nice. I, must, I don't know how I missed it, but I must have just missed it in the tutorial. Ah, oh. Yeah, I would have been very sad if we could not have finished and gotten this little nook of the coral reef to 100%. What else is there? Here we go. Oop. There's something else left over on this one. Oh, that whole side. Oh my goodness, I missed a whole trash bag over there and three plants. Wow. I, I oof, that was, that was bad. Laser. Interesting. That little seems to be growing new features with each bite of fruit. Oh? Uh, no matter. Do not let that creature distract you from your job. Distracted. I'm distracted. Where are you, my little friend? Oh my god, and I need to go get... Ooh, we actually might not make it this time. I think normally when we leave, we're at about 17. Wait, the little... Did you see the peak of it? It got longer. Oh. Okay, but no, we gotta focus. This is going to be, duh. last time was the hairpin finish. I think this is the hairpin finish. Ooh, how forgiving will this game be? Will you give me a little bit of grace time if I hit zero? Oh, I won't, okay. Whew. Woo. All right, well, let's deposit the trash since we're here. Um, I I like that. Uh, at first, I was like, oh, I hate that we have to kind of come back as we as we continue to clean. Why can't just we stay out and clean? I like that this is a reminder for me to throw away the trash. Um, it also is kind of a nice reminder to come back and be able to... Ah, bits can be deposited at the shipping station to order new upgrades. Oh! So okay, ah ha ha. See, okay, I like that. I like that we have to come back. Um, boop. Because 
that reminds us that there's upgrades that we can get and all of that good stuff. Okay, so we'll deposit this. Can we just like bloop, drop that in there? Awesome. And I don't have enough for an upgrade yet, but once we get uh, the other two, we'll be able to upgrade our oxygen. I love this. This is so nice. Yeah, this is this is for anyone who loves like the completionist in me that loves like getting every percent of grime off of a thing in Power Wash Simulator. This is like a much more <laughs> to me, much more interesting version of that same similar feeling because I personally love the ocean exploration and being able to move around and like swim. <gasps> Oh, little baby, you've gotten bigger. The little has grown too fond of you. Please scare it away by blinking your helmet lights. I don't want to scare it away. What? If, okay, but what happens? I just want to see. Boop. Oh! <laughs> oh my gosh, I give up. Play with the little all you like. Just please don't forget about your job. Oh! <gasps> Oh my god. Stop. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. This is. <sighs> that makes me so happy. <laughs> I love my little Lodo. Oh my gosh, I love it so much. Yeah, we're gonna make this reef beautiful for our buddy Lodo, and that way all of its Lodo friends can come hang out. Little Lodo friends. So is this the final one? No, 98. What would be the final... Final 2%. Is that another Lodo? Oh, no, that's a bottle. Beep. 99%. Okay. Oh my gosh, there it is. Finally, and perfect timing. Oh, we gotta get back. Wow, Whipple, Ripple Reef is practically spotless. I'm sure HQ will appreciate all the work that you've done. Yes. I, HQ, great. All I care about is Lodal. <laughs> Little Lodal friend. Okay, but oh, I have to say we cut it so close every single time getting back here. <laughs> We're going to make it, but my goodness, look at it. Three, two, whew. All right, so let's go. Uh, we've got one to deposit here, and, oh, got one to deposit here. And just for the sake of it, um, we've cleaned out the entire reef, but I'd love to see how the upgrades work, so we're going to do that really quickly. Uh, we're going to deposit this one and that one, and we're going to order. <gasps> oh, look at this science. Open. Oh, the confetti. You got an oxygen upgrade. Your capacity has been increased to 100. <gasps> I'm so fancy. <laughs> Not that we really are going to use it because we have cleaned 100% of Ripple Reef. I am so, so excited for this game. Uh, the just complete relaxation relaxation, relaxation um, that this evokes, the fact that we get to explore a beautiful area, like find and take care of little creatures that honestly has got the Tamagotchi feel, right? They start as little, kind of little blobs, but it looks like the more they eat and maybe based on their environment and maybe our interactions with them, they will grow. <laughs> and be adorable um i love little little our little like axolotl axolotl um 
but that's that's Lodal Knot. This is this is absolutely wonderful. I'm so excited for this game. You can wishlist it on Steam. Uh, currently, they don't have a specific release date, just 2023. But um, again, I highly encourage you to to follow the developers and wishlist the game if you want to keep in touch and see what happens um, with with development and when they launch. So. That's it for today's episode. If you enjoy discovering indie games, please find me here on TikTok and on Twitch. I am Kim Chica in all of those places. And I hope you have a wonderful day or night wherever you are, that you're finding lots of games to play, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!